It is the 9th of June, exactly four days to go before my first exam, the OSCE. I'm sick. Uh. But I promised you guys that I would be making a full study with me video where I show you guys how I study right before my exam. So today is gonna be the day for it because I had written that in my calendar. Uh, today is supposed to be the study with me video so you know cannot cannot go against your calendar guys i just spent the last 45 minutes being a complete waste man i was just playing guitar trying to sing and just basically doing nothing um because honestly i don't feel like doing anything today but it's important man but at the same time i also believe that if you're not already prepared for the exam let's say let's at least three four days before the exam then the final three four days are not gonna help man because the last three days is just psychological, that's it, it's nothing else. Uh, you're thinking that, okay, I've got three more days and that's gonna help so much, but really, it doesn't. I'm gonna make myself some tea before I leave for the university. Uh, and I've also got this um, leftover sandwich from yesterday, which I'm gonna have as breakfast. And then I pretty much start packing my bag and getting myself ready for school. And I pack two lunch boxes, not because I'm a fat soul, but because you know you need, you need to have your food, your calories with you when it's going to be a long day at school. And I also pack some toilet paper, guys. Not not judge me because it's not because I have a diarrhea or something, but it's because I really need to you know blow my nose all the time because I have a super duper runny nose because of this you know upper respiratory respiratory infection, um, and it's much easier to like carry just a uh, toilet paper, a roll of toilet paper instead of, you know, packets of um, pocket tissues. And then I drive to the hospital library and I reach there at around 11.15 in the morning and the very first thing I have to do is to find myself a decent place to sit because I always prefer to find myself a desk which has a computer, a, a PC because, you know, then I can have multiple screens and having multiple screens is absolutely essential for me because then I do not have to waste time you know switching between windows on the same laptop I can have multiple screens open and it just saves me tons of time and hassle while studying once this is done I have to sit down for the next 10 minutes and really figure out a study plan for the day and I have to be realistic and not too ambitious you know because that can just you know make you overwhelmed so I make myself four goals number one was to like do the past paper questions from the year 2014. The second goal was to do active recall um, for a topic called urinary incontinence, incontinence, which is basically leakage from your, you know, like your uh, genital area, like urine leakage. Um, and then the third task I had to do was to do some pathology slides for, for the uterus. Uh, and the last task was some OSCE practice with Jade and Carla who were like French um, uh, exchange students. So the first task is to start off by doing past paper questions and this is actually my most favorite part about exam preparations. And there are four reasons why I love it. Number one is that you get, really get to you know test yourself on the exam, like just like the exam. And this is like basically the best form of doing active recall. And active recall is like the best way to study, like hands down nothing can ever match it that's i mean i think by by this time you should all know what how amazing active recall is so yeah it's the best way to test yourself um and prepare yourself for the exam number one the second reason why i love it is because you know you can also learn at the same time you know because so, so you can test yourself and then also learn the stuff that you did not know prior to doing these questions so yeah you get to learn and test yourself the third reason why i love this is because you get to quiz yourself without having to worry about making the quiz or flashcards because you know the worst parts are part about like making flashcards or you know Anki questions is the part where you have to sit down and make all those flashcards and the one thing I love about doing past paper questions is that you can do all these amazing questions without having to worry about making flashcards that's the best thing ever and the last reason why I love this is because these questions are like super 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 exam 
relevant because these questions are the ones which actually came on the previous exams and hence there is a big chance that on our exam as well we will get something similar to these questions so yeah and now this is where my twist comes in because on all the questions that i'm getting wrong i note them down on a separate document that i have made in the app notability and this is because i can review these questions later on when the exam comes closer and also i note down the questions which i was a bit a little bit like unsure about however somehow i did manage to guess the correct answer but even in that case in that case i need to you know note those questions and their answers because you know obviously i was not sure about the answer and now after having a solid one hour study session i can feel my tummy screaming and you know trying to tell me that arham give me some freaking food my tummy is hungry so i decide to have some lunch at 12 30 p.m. and I just take a break and get my lunch ready and you know head to the uh, hospital cafeteria where I have lunch with Jade and Carla the one the French girls who I will be doing my OSCE practice with in a couple of hours now we sit there and I have some banter and then come and then I come back to the library and at 1 p.m. I get my bum down back to studying and start with the second goal of the day which is to do active recall for the topic urinary incontinence in other words urinary leakage so i'm pretty sure that one of the oski questions on the exam will be about this you know a woman coming in at the doctor's office and telling you that she has problems with urinary leakage and then i have to you know um, as an exam as the doctor i have to um, find out what is causing her leakage you know is there is that a pelvic organ prolapse could it be urge incontinence could it be stress incontinence what is the reason behind her um, urinary leakage so i have to take the history and the relevant you know diagnostic workups and also eventually a treatment plan for that lady so the first thing i do is to sit down and actively recall everything i can remember about this topic you know about the diagnostic features about the history taking and the treatment for this topic and once i have actively recalled whatever i can remember that is when i check the answer sheet and supplement and all, all my notes like the ones that i just wrote down with the information that i did not um, remember from my memory so that's like the way I do my active recall so close to the exam so I firstly do everything from your own memory and then secondly look at the answer and supplement what you wrote um, with the things that you had forgotten from the answer sheet so for the OSCE practice we had booked the room at around 3 p.m. and at around 2 45 p.m. I decided to take a short nap before the practice starts and I really tried hard to get the nap you know to get some sleep like 10 minute nap um, but this time I just couldn't do it man you know it's one of those times when you sort of want to take a nap but then sleep will just not come to you and you have all these other moments where you do not want to fall asleep but somehow you just manage you know um, doze off into the wanderness or into, into the wilderness I guess so after successfully failing at taking a nap I head down to the OSCE practice room with Jed and Karla and this is where we have fun because we create situations for each other and give each other cases and then put the countdown timer on because on the exam on the OSCE exam we will have eight stations and we have to pass six of those stations and every station will be seven minutes so we really need to like time our you know uh, our, our stuff um, and like we give each other random cases like you know uh, okay so a 45 year old woman comes to you with vaginal ble bleeding um, and she complains of complains of pain as well now how would you treat her and how would you like diagnose her so like that's when we tell the examiner like we are the examiners so we tell each other that you know I'll be I'll do a gynecological examination and then I will take some cervical cytology I will do an endometrial biopsy I will also do a pregnancy test and you know symptoms of infection um, could it be perimenopausal bleeding well, try to find out what the cause of her bleeding could be and this is a very very realistic way of testing each other and preparing each other for the OSCE exam because you know one can be the candidate and the two others can act like examiners and test the candidate so that's like, it's like perfect practice at 5 p.m. I head back to the library and decide to complete the past paper question that I wanted to do for the day and then I decided finally to call it a day because at this point I was super exhausted so it's like time to head home um, and in the previous vlog I mentioned that I was feeling fatigued tired and exhausted because I thought that was because of you know um, trying to manage all these different things at the same time you know exams YouTube work family friends etc uh, but I think the real reason why I was why I was why I was actually feeling exhausted was because uh, it was uh, you know prodromal symptoms or the pre-symptoms of my infection starting to kick in uh, because I actually got sick 
the exact day after I made my previous vlog. So I went home and made myself some nice lemon tea with the hope of curing my viral airway infection just before the OSCE exam. And then I sit down in the lounge on the sofa and just, you know, try and chill out and sip and enjoy my tea as well. So yeah, my sapiens tribe, this is pretty much how I study on the days before my exams. And if you found this video useful or enjoyable, then you might wanna check out this last episode where I talk about my weird time management secret during the exam season. So yeah, I'll see you guys on the other side. Take care, peace, and subscribe.